Hey guys, Thomas the Trainer, owner of Amplified Fitness. I've got a question to ask you today. But before I ask you that question, I wanna tell you why I'm asking it. So I had a member a couple months ago tell me that they're, they are struggling with their motivation, they feel depressed, they're in a mental funk, and where historically they've been so great at sticking with their fitness lifestyle, but they're just, uh, they just, they, they've just felt like they've lost their motivation. So what I did with this member is I sat her down and when I asked her, and what I wanna ask you all right now is what does self-respect mean to you? Take a moment and think about that. Go ahead and pause the video for a sec because when I first asked myself this question, I had to stop and think about it for a long time on what, it's, what it means to me. So ask yourself that, what it means to you, not what you should think it means to others, what you genuine, genuinely and sincerely believe self-respect is to you. So I asked her that question and I told her that I wanted to write down what self-respect meant to her and to bring, me, to bring me her answers the next day. And I wanna to touch, with, uh, touch with you on three of the things that she told me. So number one is what self-respect meant to her is constantly bettering herself and evolving as a person so she can better provide for others. Number two was being an example to her family, being an example to her her kids, her, her new grandkids, and, uh, and then yeah, just, just really being an example. And number three was being the most productive in her career. To really go, to really go into her profession and, and, give, and give it her all and, and, be, and be, the true, be the true her and the most productive. So those things right there. Constantly bettering herself to better provide for others, being an example to family, and being the most productive in her career. That was self, that was self-respect to her, to where she could look in the mirror with confidence and dignity if she was doing, doing those three, three things. I mean, there was some other stuff as well, but those are the three that I wanted to, that I wanted to touch on with everybody. So now if, and, and, and those are, self-respect is individual to everybody, but those three things there, I mean, that's, that's a pretty universal. Who doesn't, who doesn't want those things or who does that not bring self-respect to? I know it sure does me. I thought those were some pretty, some pretty dang good answers. And now your, your fitness and your health are impacted significantly by those, significantly. You wanna constantly better yourself? Taking care of your fitness and your health is a great way to do it. You wanna be an example to others? then taking care of your health and your fitness is an incredible example, especially if you have young kids or grandkids. So, such a great way to be an example. And I really, I really admire people that do that. And being productive in your career. When you're fit, you're healthy, you're in shape, you are gonna go through those doors with, I mean, just a, just a, a fire and a passion in your soul and you're gonna be a lot more, you're gonna be a lot more productive person and you're gonna have better relationships uh, with your coworkers, with your boss, with your business associates, whoever. So health and fitness impact all those so much. So guys, with your, with your answers that you individually, individually answer to yourself is, is taking care of yourself, taking care of your health and your fitness is that congruent on what self-respect means to you? If so, there's your motivation right there. Because long-term motivation has to come from within. I can motivate, I can spark someone up for a couple, for a couple weeks. A, mo a motivational video can get someone going for a couple weeks, but long-term motivation, creating a lifestyle, that has to come from within. Nobody can do it for you. So just ask yourself, what does self-respect mean to you? Thanks for listening.